Hi, my name is Katrina Tumulty, and I am the physical education teacher at Independence Elementary School. And I was asked to share some of the new ideas I learned from the IAPERD State Convention. Um, the first series of games that I would like to show you are from a session I went to that was called Creative Activities for Classes with More Than 40 Kids. Um, I was interested in going to this session because at Independence, it is not uncommon for us to have more than 60 kids in the gym at a time. We do double classes Monday through Friday in the mornings. Um, the first four uh, games I would like to show you are a great review for throwing and catching. And uh, I also like these games because they're a lot of fun and safe for the kids. The first game um, I'm going to show you is called Mat Ball. And the equipment that you will need for this game are six mats and about 30 uh, gator balls. A mat ball is to throw the ball over the other class so your teammates can catch it. And if they catch it, you go to the mat. Then somebody else throws it, they catch it, you go to the mat. You want your team to be on the other team's mat before they do. great game for double classes, but today I will be showing you this game with a first grade bilingual class. The equipment that you will need for this game are a bowling pin per student, a, about 10 jump ropes for a single class, and 20 jump ropes for a double class. And you will also need 30 gator balls. So, this team has our space, and this is where my pin where my pin stays the whole time. Now I'm ready to borrow my pin. <coughs> when the music class starts, you start. We will throw the balls out. Then you want to get a ball and try to throw it at the other pins and knock their pins down. Boys and girls, to get a ball, you are only allowed to Three steps away from your pin. How many, Kevin, are you allowed to take away from steps away from your pin? Three. 
The next activity I'd like to share with you is from a session I went to called A Little Bit of This, and uh, I found they had some really good ideas, especially if you have the gym taken away from you. Um, this is what I did with a fifth grade class. Uh, what I did is I introduced five bones to the fifth grade, five major bones, and what they did is they received this uh, worksheet and they got in groups of three and they made their own skeleton out of the five uh, bones that we learned. With this same lesson, half the class did muscles. So the other half of the class uh, learned five different muscles and they also made their own posters uh, sharing or showing the five different muscle groups. I thought this was the muscles that the fifth graders learned and the bones that fifth graders learned were, uh, I also had put them up on our PE word wall. The next game I'm going to be showing you is called Holes. The equipment that you will need for this game are as many uh, gator balls as you can or any different size uh, balls really and as many baskets or uh, buckets that you can get. I can show you uh, the gym right now. We have all different sizes on the center line from uh, really small soft golf balls up to gator balls. Different size buckets. I use milk crates and these uh, crates back here I got from the dollar store and of course the big one I just made with the mats. The game that we're going to be playing today is called Holes. It is a super fun new game. We're going to be dividing you up into two teams. One team will be on this side of the gym. One team will start on this side of the gym. When the music starts, the game starts. You will run up to the center line, and you will get one of the different types of balls that are on the center line. We have small, medium, and large ones, all different sizes. And the object of the game is Try to throw the balls into the different buckets. Each bucket has different points. The first row is worth three points. The second row is worth five points. The back row here is worth ten points. And guess what? The big, big one in the back here, twenty points. Done. Right? Dr. Seuss, and in this book, they say the word go 38 times. 
So the next activity you will see, we will read the book and count how many times they say go. And then we will do a relay race uh, every time um, I say go after I read it, they will bring these uh, manipulative chips uh, back in the bucket. And I got these from our second grade teacher at our school. She lent me uh, these chips to use for the next game. Moody, will you please go now? You can go on sticks, you can go by fish. You can go in a prop car if you wish. If you wish, you may go by lion. Please go now. I got the suit. The time has come. The time has come. The time is now. Just go. The kids really enjoyed all these new stations.
hopefully some of these new ideas I received from the state convention will be helpful to you.